couldn't comprehend the force that I bring. I'm like Rocky Marciano when he walk in the ring. I stalk in the ring. You coward sounded soft when you sing. So last night I read a quote from David Benavides and I can't remember the details of the quote because I was fried. But long story short, he said something along the lines of he would like to fight Terence Crawford and avenge his brother's loss. Like, I think Jose Benavides lost to Crawford in 2018, I believe, round 12 stoppage. And David Benavides wants to avenge that. I mean, that's all good, but I don't really care about all that. What I do care about is this whole situation where you've got Terence Crawford calling out Canelo. Now, I have to make the assumption that if he's calling out Canelo Alvarez, he wants to fight Canelo Alvarez at 168 pounds. Canelo's not going to come down to 160 pounds. And the reason why I say that is recently, no, not too long ago at least, David Benavidez revealed that he was kind of offered the Crawford fight for August on the terms that he fought him at 160 pounds. So that gets me thinking, it's like, well, Turkey's interested in a potential Crawford Benavidez fight at 160 pounds, but Crawford wants Canelo at 168 pounds. Why not fight David Benavidez at 168 pounds and let the winner get Canelo Alvarez? If you're willing to go 168 and fight Canelo, why aren't you willing to go 168 and fight David Benavidez? I touched on something similar the other day when I'd done a Tiafimo Lopez Tank Davis video, and it's like, it looks like Tank Davis is open to the idea of fighting Jose Valenzuela at what? 140 pound i believe i don't quote me on that but if he's gonna fight him likely hood is so if you've got no issues fighting one guy at 140 pound why not fight the other guy at 140 pound and the answer to that question is tank davis knows the deal when it comes to tfimo lopez and i suspect it's the same around the 168 pound division both canelo alvarez and terence crawford don't want to fight david renovides at 168 pound because both of them get broken in half in my opinion but that shouldn't make a difference like if canelo alvarez isn't fighting Terence Crawford or refuses to fight him or outpriced himself or whatever and Turkey Al Sheikh is promising Terence Crawford a mega fight then why not David Benavidez that's going down and putting yourself in like legendary status if he goes in there and beats David Benavidez he becomes a mythical creature you know what I mean he becomes like boxing folklore if you know what I mean but at the end of the day it's not going to happen or maybe it will one day but I'm talking about the fight here not Terence Crawford beating David Benavidez maybe Turkey will put the money up. He can't source Canelo Alvarez for Terence Crawford. And Terence Crawford goes, F it. I'll fight Benavidez at £168. It would be a life-changing mistake, in my opinion. I mean, you can take that life-changing how you want. I mean, he'll probably get £20 million from Turkey for it. So his life will change in that way. But going in the ring against someone who rehydrates to, I don't know, 190 195 pounds when you... When you come in a career heaviest, you weigh in at 168, maybe rehydrate to 169. Because, you know what I mean, it's Terence Crawford. How much more weight can he pack on? It would end badly for him. That's kind of the only way I see it. And that's why he's not speaking about it. You've never heard Terence Crawford mention David Benavidez. He's calling out Canelo every other minute. But there's no mention of David Benavidez. And for me, I'm of the opinion of if you're willing to fight one, you should be willing to fight the other. But that's obviously not the case. In an ideal world, there'll be some sort of a tournament like Crawford fights Benavidez winner gets Canelo Alvarez, big pot. You get two pay-per-views out of it that way, so maybe you can pay them even more. It could maybe make sense financially, some way, shape or form, but let's be honest, neither Canelo Alvarez or Terence Crawford want to go anywhere near David Benavidez. I don't really blame them, because I can see what they see, or they can see what I see, and it makes sense to avoid David Benavidez, but at the same time, if you're Terence Crawford and you're calling out the undisputed guy at £168, then why would you, like, logically thinking about it, why would you have issues fighting the next one in line you know what i mean the next one down the one who isn't undisputed the one who's only got like an interim title he's basically in terms of champions he's a nobody so why wouldn't you go for him get paid just as much money or close to as much as you get for canelo go down in boxing folklore and reach legendary status the reason why is because it's a step too far and they know it i know it i don't know why i'm still talking about it like crawford should do it i think deep down there might be something in me that just wants to see Terence Crawford get knocked out or something. Maybe I'm unhinged like that or I don't know what. Maybe I want to see him get hurt. I don't think that's the case, but why else would I encourage this fight? Like, I'm putting myself in check as I'm speaking about this video. How ridiculous is that? Anyway, back to the video. Terence Crawford probably won't make the fight. I mean, in today's world, it could happen, but realistically, he's not a dumb guy. He's not going to want to go in there with David Benavidez. And I think the only reason why he wants to go in there with Canelo Alvarez is because win, lose, or draw, he's going to get the bag. Even if he gets busted up and battered, he'll recover and he can retire from the sport a mega rich man. And I also think that Terence Crawford deep down thinks he can outbox Canelo Alvarez. I mean, I think he can skill for skill, but at the same time, I don't think he can go through 12 rounds and take Canelo's power, no matter how skilled he is. It is what it is. Just my opinion. You're more than welcome to your own. Laters.